hello guys you are welcome to this video i'm going to be showing you how to record your computer screen in the previous video i've shown you how to record your phone screen for a tutorial for a course you are preparing for your audience isn't it so in this particular video i'm going to be showing you how to record your computer screen with a piece of uh, software that is completely free you are not paying any amount any money for this uh, software and it is the greatest software that uh, most youtubers that use in recording their computer tutorials so guys if you don't have computer there's no problem you can use phone then you watch our video that we share uh previously okay so without wasting much of time sit down subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so that you keep receiving this video for this series of EZ of information packaging and marketing we are currently doing whereby you can make money from what you know from your skill from your knowledge from your experience you have gotten from various businesses you package it into a course and decide to sell it out so this is going to be a full course from a to z okay so let's get started all right guys so the software we are going to be using to record our computer screen is what they what we call obs okay so just go to your chrome browser i prefer you use chrome browser for this but it's not compulsory so on your computer and click on obs so once you search for obs this is the full name open broadcaster software obs this software is very free i don't know what they're actually benefiting but the software is completely free okay so and this is the website you are going to see obsproject.com so once you see this you can just uh, hit on 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 the link so once you hit on it so you can see obs works on windows mic and linux so uh depend on the the pc or the computer you are using the type so i'm going to hit on download so once you hit on windows sorry once you hit on window i think my um, network here so you can see it start downloading and the total mb here as i can see is 112 mb okay so now i'm not going to wait for this i'm actually going to pause this i've already have it so if you are using chrome so you, from here if you finish downloading you can just uh, right click and you know open and uh, you know something like that and click on it from here and install that right or you come to here this three door from your chrome browser go to download and once you are in download you can see this is the one that i'm downloading right now but i've already have the one downloaded and you can see the full here which is obs studio so once you hit on install i think uh, your computer is going to need permission you just say yes install so i think mine the installer wizard will come up you just click on install again and once you install you can see obs is already running please close it first before installing a new version so i'm going to cancel it because i already have obs so right now once you finish installing how it's going to look like after the installation you make sure you make the shortcut and this is how it's going to look like so the next thing you do is that you launch your obs studio okay so once you launch it so uh if it's already running it's to tell you this thing uh, obs is already running or unless you meant to do this please shut down any other existing instance of obs before trying to run a new instance so now i wish to run this so if you can open obs there is why i'm using obs i can launch another one right now so because this one i'm using obs to record obs tutorial because i already have two of them here running so now the first time you are in your OBS, this is the one I'm using for record. So this is not the one I'm going to use for today. I'm going to use the second one I opened for this tutorial. So this is how the interface of OBS, uh, OBS Studio is going to look like. Okay. So now the only difference is that you are not going to see stuff. There is not under scene. I want you to check it. You will not see anything here, and you will under sources here. You will not see anything here. Okay. So now. That is the only difference the only setting the default setting of obs is amazing it's just so perfect you don't have to change any other setting but if you must change setting you can look at setting here it's only one thing i do change in my own you can see setting here or you go to file here up here and you click on file you can see settings here and the only thing i change is what i'm going to change for you right now the output under the output you go to output you are going to see the recording format look at here recording format so normally at the default setting obs came at uh, mkv 
They said, according to them, oh, MKV is more stable. In case there is an interruption during while you are recording, maybe your uh, computer switched off or something like that, you can still on your computer and you can still continue with your recording without losing your video. Your video will be, you know, still be recorded, something like that. But to me, uh, this, this one, when you record the video under this, actually, it, uh, when you stop the video and you come, you can turn this video later on on that setting that you record it from mkv format you can remove the uh, remarks the recordings you have done pick the video again that you have recorded and turn it to mp4 but i've done that i've seen that the quality of the video you converted from akv to mp4 does not have the original quality of mp4 so because of that i normally go to settings like i told you and uh, once i go to settings, i will come to output and uh, once I'm in output, like, like I'm in, I used to, you know, you can see I normally put my MP4 direct because I find that even my computer off and on, it still save my video. My video is still very safe there. I don't lose access like they claim, okay? So that is the only setting I do change here. So apart from that, the default setting is okay. And so once you have done with that, if you want to also change your own to MP4 like I did. So now, you have, remember I say, you have seen here, you have sources here, you have audio mixer here and you have your control here at default setting in obs just like it the only difference is that you have nothing here so how do you create your scene so your scene is that just a name these are just name to know what are you recording what are what are you trying to achieve with o o obs so now what do we want to do in our information marketing we want to record a course we want to record our tutorials from our computer screen so what i do is that i name and name that according to what I want to achieve, which is screen record. You can see this one, I say screen record, isn't it? So, but to be sincere, you can name it anything you want to name it. So now let's assume here is empty. The, ne the first thing I do is that you click on, I click on this plus button. So once you click on the plus button, I just name what I want to achieve. I want to record my computer screen. So what comes to my mind is just type screen record. I can just say, let me just say this one now computer screen only let me name it like this computer screen only i just want to record my computer screen nothing more and nothing less so once i have that you can see now it has wet blank here it means that you can see the reason you have created computer screen look at it here are you seeing it highlighted with computer screen and here is black it means that you are not recording anything yet so now the next thing you do is that you come under sources you click on plus so now i want to record my computer screen i display which is i'm going to select under sources i'm going to select display capture i want to capture my computer screen so it will tell you to name it create new name it i'll just leave it here yours will be like display capture one so i can just name it if i want to name it only only screen you understand <laughs> so this does not matter any name you put does not actually matter just di select display capture means that your computer screen okay so just okay just allow this thing. okay 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 it's okay so basically that is all. so in recording your screen is it only the capture you want to capture no you need a voice so now if you have a microphone this is where you now go and put plus you go to this plus again to select uh, audio input okay audio input so in your audio input if you have a microphone which you do because normally PC uh, compute uh, laptop did not come with good uh, uh, you know microphone okay so you need a, a wireless microphone like this one like this Boya M1 which I'm uh, using uh, currently or you use other better microphone Lavelia and others okay just get a microphone in Nigeria here is under less than all this uh, wireless uh, Lavelia microphone, Boya microphone, a wire microphone. They are under ten thousand there. Okay, get one for yourself. That is the best thing because the computer microphone is not actually nice. Okay, so now if you have got one, you just you know plug it just like how you plug your earpiece to your um, you know to your computer. So now once you have it here, you can see we went to plus. Let me go back again. Let me cancel this. Remember, we, are, we we have other sources. We have chosen only screen. So, and uh, under this screen, what we choose was display capture. Now, you have to select your microphone, which is audio capture, audio input capture. So, now in your microphone, uh, you can just click on OK from here. 
or you name it whatever you want to name it so from here you can see this double arrow up and down here you click on it then you can see now if you have external microphone you can see this it will be the microphone too high definition audio device this is the one you select if you have any okay if you have any okay so now if you don't have any also you just use the default which is going to use your uh you know your computer microphone and you can see another microphone i have here is the Erium webcam so now uh just like i'm going to show you how to use webcam where you are recording your screen you're also recording yourself uh using webcam and you know computer or follow com computer your laptop uh, webcam is not that always too good so you can there's a software called area i'm going to show you this in the next tutorial on how to use this that's a tutorial for another day so now you select your microphone and you just click on ok so you can see that now on that computer screen record once you are here you know that you have your audio and you have you are forensically choosing display capture so that's all you need guys to record your computer screen so once you come here now and you select this computer screen as highlighted blue it is selected now as you can see you can easily click on start recording you understand so you can click on start recording and this stuff is going to uh, record your computer screen once you click on start recording so all you need to do is that you minimize you understand so you can minimize and go to any application you are using just like i'm teaching you obs studio right now so and do whatever you are done whatever you are doing you are done with the recording the tutorial that you want to record you can just come back you can just come back and come and stop the recording immediately so once you stop your recording immediately like this if you want to see the file you go to under file then you go to show recording so once you click on show recording it's going to take you to the computer and just just like uh, if i do now it may be your last recording will be something like this uh i think so this will be something like this. this will be the last one you just did so you can play and see your video but right now i'm going to show you another thing just in case you want to record your computer screen just like i'm doing right now and also you want to record yourself using a webcam so that the screen will be recording and uh, also you will be around somewhere around the corner in small screen so all you need to do is that you come to this scene again remember the first thing you have created is a computer screen recording or anything you name it so and you have this so now you click on plus again so this time around i'm going to say pc and webcam but normally me i, I like name, naming it webcam but because i know i'm using screen and webcam so you can see now on that pc and webcam you have not so it's black you are not you are, it's not recording yet because you have not chosen a camera so that it will record the screen so now you come to sources you, the first thing is that you want to record your screen so you should go to plus as usual you go to display capture isn't it to capture the screen of everything you are recording so i won't mind to even name it just finish up so once you have that the next thing now is that you add a webcam to the screen recording so once you click on plus you now choose video capture device okay this particular one video capture device so once you have the video capture device you can name it blah 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 and once you have named it so you can see once you have named it it will have something like this i'm not using light now i didn't intend to go to any record as you can see so once you have it like this uh you you click on ok and once you click on ok you can see this thing now is in your screen remember that you are recording your screen and also the webcam so this thing now will block what you are recording the screen how do you do is that you click on one of these edges or this dot dot and reduce the size of this webcam okay okay so once you reduce the size like this to the size you want then you place it at one corner that will not disturb your content maybe at up here or down but i normally put mine down here so and i reduce it a little bit smaller so that it will not cover the content i'm recording on my screen so once you have it like this you can see are you seeing this position of this red dot that this is your screen this is the screen now so wherever you are wherever you are whether you are on your browser or not, so that position of that stuff will be around here around this corner so if you want it to be around this top corner or here or here all you need to do is that you go to your obs studio and then you place it at the corner you want it to be okay so it will record your screen and also record you as the webcam so that is how to add webcam like i said 
if you don't have an uh, external webcam that is very clear so i'm going to show you uh, in a, an, a separate video i don't know it's going to be uh, on this uh, particular course we are doing a series of marketing information sell your skill but i'm going to do a video on how to connect your phone to your computer so that your computer will use your phone as webcam since phones normally come with better camera okay if you don't have external webcam so guys that is how to record your course tutorial uh using obs studio to record your course tutorial okay so once you are done with the whole stuff for uh, of recording the next thing you do is that you click on stop like i told you, you go to file and then uh, you choose your video so guys if you like what i did uh, and you like what i'm doing right now on this particular series on how to package your course on how to record your tutorial uh using your computer screen and also using the software obs and you like the series i'm doing i want you to support me i don't say you should give me money remember i can sell this information if i like but i decide to give it out for free so if you like what I, I i give for free i want you to give me a like comment on this video that is the only way youtube will recommend it to other people to benefit and uh, i'm going to also grow on youtube so please do me a favor subscribe to this channel and also click like and comment on this video so, all right guys that is how to record your computer screen using obs studio so if, if you like this particular series we are doing on the az of information packaging and marketing and you really want to make money by selling that skill you have that business you have done for long the experience you got from me you want to sell it out the knowledge you got from me you want to sell it out so i consider subscribing to this uh, channel now so that we you keep receiving the video as we drop two videos in a day okay so we meet in the next video